Good morning ladies and gents, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to go chase flathead in deep water. So we're going to use a few different methods. We're going to use uh, vibes, we're going to possibly use jigs and also uh, some plastics with heavy jig heads. So we're going to fish that deep water around that sort of probably 5 to 15 metres of water. We're going to fish structure, so anywhere there's ledges, live bottom, um, any of the entrances to the main channel, so the Rouse and Harry Eckert's an artificial reef, so obviously holds a fair bit of structure there. We're going to have to fish very close to that structure, that's where the flathead lie. Anywhere there's that structure and live bottom, it's going to hold bait, obviously in turn holds the flathead. These areas generally hold big flathead, not smaller ones. Um, you won't catch heaps of them, but when you do get a fish, they're normally good size. So we'll have a bit of a look, we'll show you the various methods uh, that I use, and hopefully we can catch a few good fish to show you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first technique I'm going to use is vibes. So that's a Zeric fish trap, fat betty colour. Sensational lure, catches a range of species, uh, reef, estuary, bay, and I'm going to put that down. And we're just going to basically do very small movements with the vibe. That'll put off an off vibration very close to the bottom. And that's where we want to be obviously targeting this flat, very close to the bottom. We don't want to be lifting it higher than about a metre up off the bottom and dropping it back down. Very slow action with it. They vibe quite easy. You don't need much movement to, to get them to vibe. So uh, we're just coming back towards my mark now. We'll drop it down and hopefully get one. All right, so just hit bottom there now. Basically, all I'm gonna do is very slow rises with the tip of the rod, probably no more than a meter, and a very gentle drop back you don't want to get too much slack in your line, you want to keep contact with that vibe as it vibes back down. And then just gentle lifts. I don't know if you can see that rod tip there, but it's working its way with that vibe. You can see it vibing through the rod. I'll just keep banging in reverse. We've got a bit of current here, so I'm going to come back with it. We want to keep directly over the top of it when we're vibing. We're coming back towards the structure now. It's very slow movements. If there's a flathead there, they'll see that vibe come down slowly in front of them and then lift and vibe back up. That's that vibration that attracts them. Coming back towards the structure there now, not far from it. We're going to go straight through it. Hopefully we nail a fish. Nice fish, just what I'm chasing. Nice big flat out in the deep. Good fish. Yes, look at that. Beautiful fish. Happy days. There we go, guys. Nice 62 centimetre fish on a Zeric fish trap, fat Betty colour. Just fishing on the edge of little tiny ledges where it drops away off the sand into harder bottom. So these areas have a little bit more live bottom. It's a coral and uh, holds the bait. So uh, the bigger flathead love these deep areas. I'm in about 12 metres of water at the moment. Just fishing around Harry Atkins, an artificial reef. Surrounding areas off the Rouse. Just vibing that deeper water. It's worked straight away, second drop. Slowly working that vibe. It's um, paid off straight away. Unfortunately, this fish got hooked fairly deep and it stripped one of its gill rakes and it's bled out, so I'm gonna have to keep it. It's a nice size eating one, that one, so you won't go to waste. We'll go back, keep working these areas, and hopefully we can pull a few more. These areas generally hold the better quality fish. They hang very close to the, the structure. 
and uh, wait for that bait to come through. It's awesome. Put a plan into place, it's worked straight away. Just keep working these areas. Fingers crossed we get a few more. Mary Cod, that one. Little Mary Cod. A little bit of bycatch. Little Mary Cod. Obviously, a good chance of catching all sorts of species when you're fishing a bit of structure. You're likely to get anything. That's why I'm using a little bit heavier gear, just in case you get dew in these areas as well. Snapper. Uh, you get quite a few cod around here as well, so uh, you want a bit of a chance to use the light gear, then good chance you're going to get broken off. Better fish, that one. Could be a cod, maybe. Oh, it's actually a horse flathead. Yes! Look at that! It's a cracker! You beauty! There we go guys, another beautiful flatty. 64 centimetres. Actually went quite hard for, for that size fish too. Call it for a cod there for a bit. It's um, beautiful fish, really good condition. Just good fun too, good fun on the vibes. Just something different. And the fish in that deeper water can be really effective. As you can see that vibe, Zeric fish trap, done its job beautifully. Cracking fish. That's good fun. It's just a matter of driving the boat at the same time. You've got a bit of current. It's really important you're driving the boat. As you've seen me put it in and out of reverse. It's really important to keep over the top of the lure, especially when you're vibing like that. We'll get this fish back. He's uh, in good condition. Let's see if he swims away. Tiny grass tusk fish, purple tusk fish, that one. Pretty little fish. Go hard. One of the varieties of tusk fish that are in the bay. You get your black spot tusk fish that grow very large. Then you get your purple or grass tusk fish, which these are. These don't grow real big. Uh, you, uh, you don't see much over sort of that 30 centimetres. Pretty fish, but. All right, guys, now I'm using a little micro jig. Uh, this is a mustard tracer shot, 30 gram. This is a nice silver, natural looking color. When you're running jigs, unfortunately, you do get a bit of bycatch. Um, you do get a lot of mackerel biting off as well, but the important part is just to really make sure that you're jigging close to the bottom. That generally avoids a lot of that bycatch with the mackerel. All we want to do is little very tiny jigs close to the bottom. All that jig's doing is basically whipping up and fluttering back down. Generally you work out what the better technique and lure is for the day. Obviously we've caught two on the Zeric fish trap now with the vibe. Switched over to the jig. And I'll run the jig for a while now just to see. If it looks like one's working better than the other, then obviously I'll go back to that and continue through the day. Still rotating from different methods and, and different lures as well, but I want to stick with what's working at the time. 
But sometimes you won't know unless you try different lures. Hooked up, don't know what it is. But... Uh. Fortunate to Grinner, you'll get a lot of these guys in the bay, particularly on these jigs. They love them. Fortunately, they're everywhere throughout the bay. Dirty old Grinner. It's just something you've got to deal with, unfortunately. Just part of the bycatch. So two fish for the morning so far, just off some natural little structure, uh, little tiny ledges and just little lumps with growth on it. That's uh, enough to hold the flathead around it. I've uh, obviously been fishing around the edges of the Harry's here. Uh, I've gone up onto Harry's and tried to fish some of that larger structure where I have seen good flathead before and caught good flathead before. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people are sitting on the structure. I don't want to get too close and annoy them. I did get uh, one spot there with the pipes. I did get a nice flathead, I believe. I pulled the hooks midway up, but uh, anyway, that's the way it goes. Uh, I just don't want to annoy everyone else. So I've come back away, as you can see, not far from Harry's, and just fishing sort of the mouth of the rouse and any of the drop-offs and little ledges, any of the live bottoms and clumps and lumps that I can see. Um, I'll keep vibing those areas, but with good conditions at the moment, I might throw the underwater drone down and hopefully we see a few of them in their natural environment. And I guess it'll be a good example of what we've been talking about and where I've been fishing. Um, there's another little ledge close by. I'll, I'll have the, a look with the drone and hopefully we see a few flathead there. Often puts the, the flathead off with that drone, but uh, I'll go back afterwards and see if we can pull a few more fish. I highly doubt I'll catch a few more there, but I'll keep going through the main channels throughout the bay, uh, the Rouse, the Rainbow, and uh, see if we can keep vibing some of those deeper channels anywhere there's uh, a bit of structure. And hopefully pull a few more flatties. Rainbow Channel at the moment. Oh, nice floody. Another nice, similar size. Fish. There we go, another beautiful fish, 62 centimetres. Very similar size to the other ones. That one took a uh, different coloured Zeric fish trap. I just changed to that colour. Didn't do very well on the Rouse channel, so I've came into the uh, Rainbow channel now. 
just fishing little bits of structure throughout the rainbow. That was the second drop with that particular colour. Just working it very slowly off the bottom. Lifting no higher than half a metre. And uh, it's counted for another beautiful flatty. I'm going to keep this fish. I kept that other one before because it um, tore the, the gill rakes and ended up bleeding out. So I need a, enough for a feed, so I'll take another fish. Perfect eating size, not too big. If I catch any more, I'll let them go. But um, that's three for the day now, working pretty hard for it. Just keep chipping away. That's cool. It's been good to, to show you guys, obviously, different methods. Obviously, the vibes work extremely well. Chasing flat in deeper water. Something different, it's rewarding. Also cool seeing them on the uh, underwater drone as well. So it's exactly what you know, I've been talking about, where they sit, different types of structure. That is cool. Very happy with that. So still on the rainbow channel at the moment. Just fishing the edge of the banks now, so where it drops off the main part of the banks, tide's running out, we're heading down to sort of the, the bottom part of the tide at the moment. So I'm fishing still deep. I'm still in that sort of seven to eight metres. Rope drops away off into the main channel. Just working my way along it. And um, hopefully we find one fish along here. The other areas I've been fishing structure in the channel. So now it's time to fish the edge of the, the main channels. And hopefully there's a fish lying along the, the side of it. Just driving the boat to make sure that my line is straight up and down. So I'm working that vibe directly over the top. Oh, yep. Looks like a pretty good fish, this one. Kill oh. oh. a line. Crap. A shark grabbed it, I'd say. Oh, it has two. Bugger. Oh, no. There we go. There's that fish. Absolutely gutted. Would have been an absolute cracker, that one. I would say over the 80 centimetre mark. Best fish of the day, and it gets sharked. Very disappointed. Disappointed for the fish, what a waste. Big female, full of eggs, just full of roe. Ah, uh, got it. It's fishing, unfortunately, a lot of sharks, particularly in these deeper channels. Been pretty lucky already today. Not so lucky on this big female, unfortunately. Absolutely spewing. On the Zurich fish trap, it's done its job today. Been trying plastics, jigs, and obviously uh, the vibes have done it today. That's uh, fish number four. Would have been the best fish of the day. Bugger. I might call it a day now. There's sharks around these channels. I'm just going to waste fish, and if there's big fish like this, I certainly don't want to waste them. Call it a day and head home. It's been a pretty good day. Worked pretty hard for it. But it's been pretty rewarding, as you can see. Vibing for flathead and deeper water. Great bit of fun. It does catch fish. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time, tight lines.